Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. Today I'm going to be porting over a character who is not in WWE 2K17 from a previous game. Uh, today I've decided that I'm going to choose Sergeant Slaughter from 2K16 and I'm going to port him into 2K17 with you know, his entire attire. Um, we're going to create a custom attire with it and then we're also going to make sure that we import his entrance, uh, the USA flag, and his Titantron, all from 2K16. Uh, we're also going to create a custom entrance th theme for him, uh, his actual theme music. And then um, we're going to import everything in. We're going to get his moveset, his uh, stats as well. And then we're going to get him into 2K17. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is access the memory sheet done by POSM. Got the 2K15, 2K16, 2K17. We're not really worried about 2K15 today. So we're going to be looking at 2K16. And we're going to get Sergeant Slaughter, who is right here. So we're going to take note that he is pack number 138. Because he is in 138, if we look on the 2K17 memory sheet, we'll see that 138 is actually taken down here um, with pack plus. Um, what that means is that you have to use the WWE 2K17 plus uh, plugin made by POSM in order to use this pack number, but this tutorial is not using that plugin. So, what we're going to need to do is find a free pack number. Um, as you can see here with the dummy HUDs, we can use any of these areas, um, any of these numbers here. So, let's see. Um, Usually you want to keep track of whatever mods you're installing. Uh, we'll go ahead and look in here. As you can see, I've got all kinds of different mods included. So the next number I have that I'm going to use will be 494, Sergeant Slaughter. So I'll go ahead and make note of that in my notes. And then we're going to go ahead and copy over his CH file. Um, which we're going to look in the Steam folder 2K16 pack CH and we're going to look up his number which is 138 and as you can see he has two files so he has his ring attire which ends in 2 and then his entrance attire which ends in 4 so we're going to click both of those we're going to do a copy and we're going to go into um, our work in progress which, uh, you know, this is my preference, but you can create your own. As you can see here, I have all kinds of different things going on. I'm going to create a new folder called Sarge Work in Progress. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy over the 2K16 pack files. All right. And from here, what we want to do is go ahead and extract them. So we're going to use Pack Editor. 2K16, we're going to open the first one, and then I'm just going to go back and hit Mass Extract. The folder will already be open, and I'm just going to hit OK. And what that does is it goes ahead and extracts everything. So we can go in here and we can see all the files. And as you can see, the Zlib files, which is the compressed version of all these files inside the pack, have been extracted and you can see those. So what we're going to do to clean this up is sort by type. I go ahead and delete the Zlibs. Okay. And then we're also going to do that under the entrance pack. Same process. Okay. So now that we have that cleaned up, um, what I like to do is use an app called Rename, Bulk Rename Utility. And we'll go ahead and go into this folder and I have here add the prefix double zero and what this does is put it in the hex format now this is a preference you don't have to do this but it makes things a lot easier for me 
And then, um, as you can see, these are in JBoy format, which is the 2K16 format for objects. Um, just so that I don't have to do some extra typing later, I'm gonna go ahead and use this feature to change the extension to Y object. And I'm gonna hit the uh, checkbox there. Bam, bam, and bam. I'm gonna rename those. Okay, got those. And then I also wanna go ahead and grab the other folder while I'm in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in reverse. Get those three. And then I'm also going to do redo the adding of those numbers. Bam. Okay, so now everything's nice and organized for me. And since we're not going to be editing these particular files, um, you know, they're pretty much ready to go. But what I like to do just for good measure is repack them. So we're going to be opening up Xpacker. We're going to do a control P, select files. We're going to, let's go ahead back here and grab this directory. Bam. We're gonna highlight them all. And what you always wanna make sure you do is sort by file name. If you don't, your objects will come out looking crazy. I wanna create the pack archive. And I'm just gonna go to the root here. And usually, now what we're going to do is create it with the new pack number that we created, which will be 000. 494 and then 02, which is our ring attire. Okay. All right. And then we're also going to go ahead and create the other one, which is the entrance attire. Drill down. We're going to select all of these. We're going to sort it. We're going to create part pack archive. Go back to this route. And we're just going to change this to a four, which is the entrance attire. As you can see, it creates that. All right. Okay, from here, what we want to do is we're going to take the originals, the original two files, and we need to create a new one, but with this 494 extension. So we're going to do a Control C, Control V, okay? And we're going to do F2, which edit, and we're going to change this. 494, delete that word copy, and then we're also going to do it here, 494, and delete the word copy, okay? So we're going to come back here in a little, shortly, but what we're going to do real quickly is uh, we're going to repackage these. So go ahead and delete that H, okay? And we're going to open up Pack Editor, go to Open. We're going to grab this directory, control C, control V. We're going to go into this right here. And what we're going to do here, because this is almost 60 megs, remember the 2K17 limit is 80 megs for files. So we're going to go, um, go ahead and compress those. Uh, you want to hit inject as Zlib. And we're going to go in here and we're going to do each file one by one. So here we go. Okay, so we've finished that one, and now we want to do the same for the entrance attire. Okay, so we have those two files all completed, um, zipped up, ready to go. We'll go ahead and delete the backup files. And uh, just so that we don't have any confusion, let's go ahead and move these files out here so that we have them out in the open. Um, so before we can inject our two files here into the format so that the game can read them, the uh, CH files, we'll need to open a hex editor. I use HXD. 
uh, let's go ahead and click and drag these two files over and we need to uh, make sure that these ch files can find the pack files that we created and right now as you can see it's the original pack number so we're going to go ahead and modify this to the first one which is 49402 go ahead and click this one over here we're going to scroll down a couple little bit and we'll see this line here 49404 and then we'll close and it will save and we'll close and it will save again all right so now we have created those two and we want to go ahead and open pack editor again copy that directory open this one and see it has the new number in we want to say inject inject that one and then we're going to open this one and we are also going to inject that one bam so now we have completed that we have sarge attire straight from 2k16 ready to go but uh, I also wanted to show you guys how to edit um, an attire that's already um, packaged together. So what I'm going to do is, um, I believe the attire is um, in the ring is the, I think is a green t-shirt with a black tank top over it. Let's see if we can go ahead and make a fully black t-shirt under the black tank top. And this attire is in reference to the feud that Sergeant Slaughter had with Hunter Hearst Helmsley in, uh, I think it was 97. Uh, I believe they had a battle at the G Generation X pay-per-view. So um, that's the attire that I'm going to attempt to try to replicate. So we'll go ahead and um, the first thing we need to do is copy the pack files uh, that we're going to be creating. So we'll go ahead and do this. So we'll go ahead and create a new one called work in progress. And we're going to copy these two, all four of these actually. And we're going to go in here. Okay. But we don't want to name them the same name files. So the last two numbers identify whether, like I said, it's in the, in the ring or it's an entrance attire, right? So that's the last number two is in ring four is entrance and the Next number over, zero, that indicates attire one. So what we're gonna do here is change it to attire two, which is number one. Okay, we're gonna do that with all four of these files before we get started. All right, now that we got these named, uh, what we're gonna do here is go ahead and create a yet another folder and just call this pack. Go ahead and cut, cut these two and drop them in here. Now, what we're going to do is do a mass extract. But first, we have to open one. So we'll go ahead and copy that over. Open this first one. Then we'll go back and we'll say mass extract right here. Okay. And what that's going to do is create all these, right, that we've already seen before. So go ahead and delete those delete those like we did before. Now, now we can go ahead and now we'll be able to edit what we need to. Um, but the file that we're going to be editing is this one right here, which is just so you guys understand, uh, zero zero is the objects. I can give you a quick preview of what it looks like in x-ray, uh, control N, we'll go in here, work in progress. Sarge, work in progress packs here and do this. And we can see here, this is the attire, this is Sarge. Yep, and there he is. Isn't that cool? All right. Um, zero A, that is all the textures for the gear. Zero C is textures for face and body. A uh, notable one is 2580 is animation file, 2715 is a hair file, and the other one that's notable is CE, which is a masking file. So, uh, but we're going to be focusing on 0A. So the first thing we need to do is open up Xpacker. We're going to do a Control Y, 
and then we're going to go to our packs folder we're going to drill down into the ring attire we're going to double click 0a and as you can see all the files are here and then we'll scroll down we'll go into work in progress sarge work in progress here and then we're going to do i always do it this way 0a just so we know what we're extracting and okay and then we'll go ahead and do the same control y again and we'll do the same for the entrance attire 0a do an extract all make new folder 0a extract okay and all those have been extracted so we'll go ahead and close x packer for now and then now we can go into 0a uh, I like to do large icons so that we can see all the different files that are in here. But the one we're interested in is this one right here, Tops. So um, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop. Um, I already have it on my computer. And it also has the um, NVIDIA DDS plugin so that I should just be able to open these directly. And we'll be able to see Sarge's attire. So um, I'm going to do a little photoshopping here. And everyone has their own preferences, so just bear with me. Okay, so I just did a real quick creation of the black uh, t-shirt. So what I'm going to do here is a Control Shift S, and that will allow me to select the DDS format. And since we are in our folder here, we're just going to go ahead and save over. Yes. Um, because this is just the tops, we want to make sure that we're selecting no alpha because there is no alpha involved. We're going to save and we are done here for that. As you can see now, the tops are all black for this particular attire. Uh, I want to go ahead and control C. We're going to go over to the entrance attire. And as you can see, it's also here. We're going to do a control V and that'll paste over it. So now that we'll have the same thing in both entrance and ring attire. So now we got to get these all back into our zero a file. So how do we do that? Well, let's open X packer. We're going to do a control N, select textures, and then we're going to go into our ring attire, the 0A folder. We're going to do a control A and open. Um, usually the source automatically, we're going to do create texture archive. We're going to go back up one folder and I will call this 000A. Go ahead and save that. It is going to repackage them. Okay, and we also need to do the same thing for the entrance attire. Do control A, select them all, create. We're going to go up one folder, and the name is still there from the other file. We'll go ahead and save that. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that. Now, so now that we've created this new file. Let's go ahead and delete this other one just so it's not getting confusing. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and go back one folder up here to these and we're going to open these back in pack editor. Okay. And as you can see, they're still in the Zlib format. We're going to highlight the 0A, the one that we modified. We're going to say inject as Zlib. We're going to go in and we're going to select the file that we just created uh, for the ring. And double click. Okay, got that one complete. We're going to go over to the 14. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to select the one that we created for the ring attire. All right. So 
now that we've completed these two, we'll go ahead and delete these. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy these back here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is make sure that these two files, um, because we renamed them earlier, we need to now modify them in hex editor so that these two files will be referencing these two files that have the 1, 2, and 1, 4 instead of the 0, 2, and 0, 4 that they were when we copied them. So we'll highlight these two, drag them over in the hex editor just like we did earlier, and scroll down we'll see 4, 9, 4, and we're going to change this to 1, 2. Same from this side, 4, 9, 4, and we're going to change this to 1, 4. Save changes, yes. Save changes, yes. Okay. And now that we've done that, we want to go back into Pack Editor. We're going to say open. Copy this path again. We're going to open up the CH ending in 12. And as you can see, it is now the correct number. We're going to say inject. We're going to inject that one. We're going to open up number 14. Highlight that. Inject number 14. And we have now created and delete these backups and we have our new attire that we've created for Sarge. We're going to copy these up one more level to this and these are the four files that we're going to be porting into WWE 2K17. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we want to go to the 2K17 folder. We're going to go to pack we're going to go to character, we're going to go here, and we're going to do a copy. We're going to paste those in, and as you can see, they went in right there. All right, but we're not done. So we've done, we're done actually getting all the character together, but we need the other components of the character. So Sarge has a custom entrance in 2K16, and we can do that. We can see that in the 2K16 files folder. In the files in 2K16, you have the EVT, which is like different animations, entrance, victory, and so on. So, uh, what we're going to be looking for is this one right here, Sergeant Slaughter. And I'm going to do a control F and type in Sarge and see where the other file is. So we'll take note of 0, 0, 138. And then we'll do the other one, which is his winning animation, 0, 06, 138. Okay. So we need to find those two files. Yep, we've got 2K17. We've got 2K16. The pack, we're going to go to EVT. We're going to do 00138. Okay, here it is. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're just going to drop that into our, um, we'll just put it in our work in progress for now. We'll just create it. So we'll call it miscellaneous files. We'll put that in here. There's one. And we also need the other one, 06138. There's our victory. We're going to drop that in there. Okay, so on top of that, um, if I remember right, and it's always good to check out the actual entrance in the game, um, it looked like he had a USA flag, and just for good measure, I want to make sure that the prop is there, so I'm going to look it up. There's a USA flag, and it looks like it's 26048. So we want to grab that prop that's in pack slash prop. We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, may not be necessary, but I've actually hasn't, haven't ever ported slaughter. So we're going to see what happens. Um, 2648. We're going to grab that prop. Uh, we're going to drop that in our work in progress. And now we also need his Titan Tron. And let's see. That would probably be, that's going to be under 2K16, Movies, Titantron, and these are all different 
uh, videos in the game, and what we're going, what we're looking at is the ENT files, which means entrance. Uh, typically, it's under his pack file name, which would probably be 138. Let's open it up and look at it. And yes, there's our big good man, the Sarge, Sergeant Slaughter. So we're going to go ahead and copy that file. Drop that in here for now. And we have uh, the files that we need, so. Let's go ahead and move those into 2K17. 2K17, we're going to do pack. We're going to do uh, our animations first. So let's go ahead and copy these two. Hmm, it's interesting. So one of them already exists. Does Sarge's animations already exist in the game? Okay, it's very possible that Sarge's animations already exist in the game. So we'll leave those there. Let's look up his prop. And it's very, yep, I'm pretty sure Sarge's stuff is already in the game. So we're going to leave those. We're not going to use the 2K16 ones, but that is how you would copy them over if they didn't exist in the game. But fortunately, they already exist. So. Um, we're just going to move on to the next step, which is movies, Titantron, and we're just going to go ahead and copy in the Sarge's Titantron. Bam, got that done. So we've gotten those files. We've gotten the pack files over. So now we need to make sure his music is there. So really thrifty application called Sound Editor created by the Visitor X. And what this does is allows you to inject music into the game. So the first thing we need to do is actually convert um, Sarge's theme, which I have an MP3. You need to convert that over into the WEM format. So part of installing Sound Editor, there's different things you have to do. I'm not gonna go into that today. Um, but there's a really cool feature called Sound Converter here, and you can do what you can do is select sounds. So we'll go ahead and do that. I have the theme song, Hardcore. Sergeant Slaughter, go ahead and highlight that. We'll hit open and target volume, track gain, and we'll hit convert. Um, yep, there it is. Okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our miscellaneous folder. I did a cut there. So now we need to figure out what song we're going to replace. So with Sound Editor, you wanna go File and Open. We're gonna go into 2K17 Sound and you wanna find Game Sound underscore M. It's about one gig. So we'll go ahead and open that. And basically you wanna go down to the sound effects and as you can see here, these are all the different songs in the game. The first half of these are kind of blank, but then you, know, you can kind of go in and you can see all the different songs. So the one I've chosen to replace is USA 3. What I want to do before I do that, just in case I decide I want to use USA 3 again, I'm going to do an export. And this goes into that backups folder I was talking about. I'm going to do USA 3. A dash there. That's not necessary, but it's just something I do. So we'll go ahead and play it so that you can hear that it's still USA 3. Okay. So now we want to import our Sergeant Slaughter theme, which I like to do this um, just so that I know what I imported it to. So yeah, Sergeant Slaughter, we got USA 3. I want to do import, right click import. And we're going to do this. And you can see here it's creating a backup folder. Oh, please wait. And you can see where it injected USA 3. So we're going to right click and press play. And there's my boy, Sergeant Slaughter. Okay, so now that that's complete, 
we've gotten the theme music in, we've got all the animations, we've got his Titan Tron, we've got two attires for our, our good man. Now we need to make sure that we can select both attires. So what we want to do there is go into Data Editor for 2K17. Okay, uh, first thing we want to do is go to Tools, Universal, Alternate Attire Unlocker. Um, if you haven't installed this before, you want to hit this install, but I have, so I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, that way I don't lose all my settings. Um, and as you can see, I have different attires listed. So I don't see Sarge here. So what we want to do is select the pack that we created, which is 494. And we're going to do two attires. So what is also important is that we do edit attire names. And we're going to select 27, which would be the 494 right here. And as you can see, these are zero. So you can actually click this button to see what names you can put in, but I already have it pulled up here. And we want to go to zero one. So what we're going to do is just do two attires. I think his default is gonna be green. So we'll just do, um, what code was that? 41EB for the green attire and then we created the black shirt and we'll do black for that one. So that'll be 41DE for black. And then we're gonna do apply names for this wrestler. Okay, and we're gonna hit save data. All right, so we've done that. Now, uh, the good Sarge needs a profile so we want to load Puffo and actually with data editor there are some templates 2k16 and we have Sergeant Slaughter's profile that can be ported over into 2k17 how about that look at that We've got all this cool stuff in here but the wrestler ID is not right see 138 is for 2k16 you change that to 494 which is the number we created what we want to find is a good man, the Sarge. Probably could just do Sarge, right? There he is. Sergeant Slaughter. He's going to be 3982. So, 3982. Alright, we're just going to do a copy and paste on that three times. We're going to delete social account. Okay, uh, we'll make sure he's fully unlocked he's not a DLC and it has him listed here at 6'5 310 pounds and let's see um, announcer settings apparently he's not from Morocco that is not correct I guess that's the heel version of him we're gonna put him in USA and if I remember right he is in South Carolina from Paris Island but that's not listed from South Carolina. Yeah, that'll be close enough. All right, uh, let's see, he's legend, cheering. So with all that said, we're gonna hit save. Okay, so now we've created the POFO file, which is his profile. Now we wanna go to moveset editor and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go to templates. We're going to 2K16 and then we're gonna get Sarge moveset. So this basically says that it's going to try to convert things from 2K16 to 2K17, bam. All right, so the things that we need to double check here, wrestler ID, we need to make sure that's 494, theme music. So here's the one that we need to make sure that we change. Remember, we used USA 3. So we need to scroll down and find USA 3, which I think should be right there, USA 3. Um, our Titan Tron should be the zero, uh, the 138. Uh, Mini Tron, we're just going to use Arena. And over here for Victory Music, USA 3. And so with 2K17, make sure you check all of these if you have multiple tires. Otherwise, you may have an issue with not having any music um, for Victory. So it's pretty important. Um, and yes, I'm just like I said earlier, it looks like 
Sergeant Slaughter's information was already in the game by default, so it was all there. Um, so from there, if you had a manager, we could put that there. Blah, blah, blah. I think everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and do save moveset. Okay, got that. Now, I think we've got almost everything we need. Let's go ahead and grab those two files there that we created. Um, they go into the data editor. We'll just grab that moveset and put it with our stuff here. Our pofo. Grab that. Put that there. All right. So what we've copied over our pack. We've built it and re and packaged it up for 2K17. We've created an alternate attire. We've got our entrance and victory animations. We've got the US flag. We've got our Titan Tron. We've got music. We've got moves. We've got a profile. So let's get this all into the game. Okay. So before we do anything here, we need to make sure that once we get here to the where one on one is highlighted, we need to go to the CT, CCT tool. And this is the custom character tool. So this was how we're going to import um, the profile and the movesets for Sergeant Slaughter. So we'll hit these dots right here and it's going to go and we need to go to our work in progress our miscellaneous files we're going to select our pofo and we're going to go ahead and do the same for our moveset and there we go so now we can go ahead and install and that will import our good man the sergeant now we want to go just so that we can save the settings we go to edit superstars didn't matter who you select I always select aid in English crowd reaction we change it to cheer hit spacebar do the same here boo and now we've saved the change that we made so let's test out our good man the Sarge There he is, my man, the Sarge himself. And you can hear the entrance music. It's coming down the ring. Everything looks good. Let's check out that alternate attire, okay? Here he comes, and he's wearing black, just like we created. So you could have totally, you know, made those changes. You could have edited all those different pieces, his boots, his elbow pads, you know, and uh, maybe in another tutorial, I'll show you how you can import other items into, you know, characters. So. Um, but with that said, we'll go ahead and uh, call it a night. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And I always, always, I appreciate your f feedback. So for the Sarge, everyone, thanks for watching and have a good night.